So, <laughs> to start off with, everyone's favourite, James. Yes. What, what do you want to see from the next instalment? Give me your, I want to know, plot, game design, some some structure, oh, or even like when you want to see it come out in terms okay. of development. Uh, like all, all the the nitty, the gritty. I want to know your thoughts on what's next for Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking 2015? What are we doing? Yeah, I just thought we'll start here so that people like that just want to hear about Assassin's Creed can be here and then fuck off and yeah. leave the yeah, hardcores okay. around for the rest of the show. Okay. Yeah. And we can <laughs> clip this. Assassin's Creed. Oh, but, but we won't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. When do I want it? <laughs> Never, ideally. Stop. Okay. Stop it. Yeah. Don't want <laughs> you, it. So you want Odyssey to be the end? Ah, uh, that doesn't count either. Yeah, so Origins, Origins is the, last the end. One. Yeah. Yeah, true. That's true. Yeah. Um, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So are we, we end with... at the beginning. Yes, exactly. It's poetic. Um, so are, are well, we, we know it's Vikings, with... right? Yeah. Are we going with? I the, think it's definitely Vikings, or can we just go? What do we actually want? Okay, so do you have another idea that you'd want if it wasn't Vikings? Because it is Vikings, we know that. Yeah. So it doesn't. So I kind of feel like we we've got to play with that. With it. But but just give me what would you do if it wasn't Vikings? Bike sequel. That's of course what I would do. Okay. All right. Obviously. Okay. How about this? How about this? Give me your bike sequel pitch. Oh. Give me what you. What would you do for it? Give me. Oh. Give me your bike sequel pitch. Oh god. Give me what me. you. Gi- give me what you really want from Assassin's Creed, which is a bike sequel, and yeah. then tell me about it, and then talk about what we are really probably going to get. Yeah. But what you'd want from what we are. But what you want from what we are going to get. We yeah, are going to yeah, get yeah. a Viking game without yeah, bike. Mm-hmm. But what else? Are we going to get from it? Like, what could be good that we could get from this? Yeah. So let's start off. Bike sequel. Give me the right. pitch. What do you want? Bike sequel. All right. Well, I've talked about this before on streams, I think. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a vague idea of what I would sort of do with it. Um, is I would want it to be somewhat of a mentor story. So for a start, I want Bike to have a reason to go to probably Rome, I guess, is where I would put it. Um, or maybe somewhere in the Middle East sort of area so that it... Uh, maybe lines up with AC1, but the setting's not really important. Um, I think I would want Bayek to sort of embrace being the mentor of the Brotherhood, um, have a Brotherhood system in there, grow the Brotherhood. But at the same time, I want him to sort of have a... uh, I guess someone that fills that role of sort of his... sort of a a son-like figure, so he can be a father-like figure to someone that he's training. And this game could take place over the course of, you know, a, a small amount of years, potentially. So we can see this kid go from probably, like, you know, maybe, like, 13 to maybe, like, you know, um, sort of a, a young adult. Um, so, like, 20? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Because um, we've, we've not got a, a lot of time to play around with Bayek. You know, he's getting old and it's ancient Egypt. So we've got, you know, enough time to have a game there, I think. But um, we don't have, you know... a huge amount a lot of, of time. time not like with Ezio could you do a Red Dead Redemption <clears throat> I guess both one and two spoilers where you play it as a different character by the end yeah, of the game yeah that's that's or... where I was getting on to yeah that's what I okay. want them to do with it because I, what I want is for them to have this Bayek story and I like my idea is that he doesn't know how this brotherhood's going to last past him because he's the first one like him and Aya those are the first two leaders of this brotherhood and he doesn't know like he's built this creed because he wants it to, to to last and over the course of the game you have him have the actual tenants there and develop it a bit more but like I, he he's not sure whether this brotherhood is going to last and he this this game is basically him working towards that goal of having because either you know it passes on to the next person and it ends up living forever or it just doesn't and it dies with him so I would like to see that story of Bayek trying his best to keep this going and train somebody and instill those same values in them and have them continue the brotherhood and then develop this yeah. character as well. So we love this character too, so that when um, Bayek dies, we can actually see Bayek die, but it's from like his this like this kid's perspective. Obviously now he's. I mean, technically, up. you you could see him die if you're not using an ancestor's DNA, right? You're using. Yeah, true. Like, you could if you're using Bayek's DNA. 
from yeah. his body, from which his Layla sarcophagus, is yeah. doing. Um, yeah. So I guess technically, could... that's the loophole to see someone's full life. Yeah. Right? And then you could switch it to be this kid as well. Maybe you have the DNA. You can figure it out. But like then you yeah. would switch. Like the animus would all fuck up or whatever. And you'd then be this kid. And then maybe you'd see the same thing, but from his perspective. And then you would now, continue Now, now here's, point. here's a counter devil's advocate okay. here for you. Just so it make because because you, you playing around especially if you're gonna play as a kid genetically doesn't make sense. Would you be okay with if they did this because they're not gonna do either of these things? But like, let's say you played as the kid from the start to the end of the game, and it was the kid's game, but by X, you're literally mental the whole time. Uh, and the story's about I... that passing on because maybe he's a bit too old, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at that. Um... Like you would, you would, you'd still like it but you'd be sitting there like wanting to play as bike but the yeah. kid could be great like you're still it's not that the kid it's still technically <laughs> like uh, what i criticize about it and not getting sequels with the characters is this there's no investment in the story and the story doesn't continue mm-hmm. that's a loophole of which sure you're not playing as bike but the story does continue it's still bike story continuing it's about the assassins and it passes on to the next person right and that your whole story is literally about will the brother would survive and last longer well this is the kid that is the second generation yeah, but so, I think I think to me for that story to work, you have to be playing as Bayek. Otherwise, there's no. I mean, obviously, you know that the Brotherhood's always going to live on. So that's not like the you're not wondering, oh, is he going to succeed? Because you're like, well, we know that he does. the The idea is more, how is he going to succeed? Like, will it be through this kid? Will it be another way? And if you're playing as the kid from the get go, sure, like you're going to you, know, you the, know entire the, time, the entire time it's going to be the kid. Like that's the point of the game. And also, then you don't get those personal emotional moments with Bayek where he's like inwardly thinking about things because you're not playing as him so like these moments when he's a... dwelling on the creed and he's got all these philosophical ponderings like you don't get those unless he's talking to the kid but i don't feel like that's the same and and that sort of sense of like desperation that he has in that like this means a lot to him and it's his legacy and he wants it to continue and... here's a story idea for you here's a story okay. idea for you with this taking everything you're saying mm-hmm. you've got and at this point you've started quite a few hidden ones right like quite a few you know small uh like cells sure let's say we're at a point now where in rome assassins are, like lots of assassins are being killed like there's they're not big enough yet to outlast they don't have the tenants yet to outlast they're not skilled enough yet to outlast they're getting killed off mm-hmm. it's i is dead ah good um even though that doesn't work because she can't be dead it's based on when cleopatra dies and bar could be too old so when does that cleopatra work, die but, like 20 years later? No, not 20 years. Like 10 years later or something like that. After Origins, I think. I, f- I, th- I think. Patra died it's in a few years. 30 BCE and Origins ends, when is it, 30, 38? 36? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. When, does, when does Caesar die? Caesar. 44. Um, 44. Okay. Yeah, no, so. No, but, okay. Wait. Hold yeah. on. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're counting the wrong way the other way around here. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, it's quite a while then. Well, it's like fourteen yeah, years. Yeah, it is. Well, so let's say I is still alive. Let's okay. just say I is still yeah, alive, she but she, there's barely any assassins left in Rome. There's no assassins left from bikes. It's just him and the kid. So it really is this like, is it going to survive or is this the end of the brother? Now we know as an audience it doesn't survive, but it's like how the fuck is he going to survive? There's only two of them left where he is. Mm-hmm. Egypt, there's none. Like, they're being killed off. They're being culled and hunted down. Because it's a new thing, right? It's like a terror... They're being seen like a terrorist group. Mm-hmm. So they're just being culled and killed. And it's this survival, this... And this story is just about the two of them. And that's why it is the kid that passes on. Because Bike will die by the end. And then it's just, just the kid. But then you see the kid, like... You could have, I don't know, fucking end sort of montage. Or, or, or something where he... Yeah, I don't know. Where, like, it's just the two of them left. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing, like, it's a really... That'd be a really cool story. Or even, like, that's the first half of the game. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. And if you if you really did have a big portion of the story where you play as the kid afterwards, if it's... Because it would be an RPG, right? Like, it just... Mm-hmm. Realistically, if it was done, it's going to be... It's, it wouldn't be Odyssey. Let's say it's Origins-level RPG. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you level the kid when you've just... So you've just okay. played as this guy. Yeah, I've got an wise, idea. I've got an idea yeah. how you can do it. Why not tackle it similarly to an assassin's creed 3 where you start and you play the first i don't know like i don't know what percentage like the first 
15 20 percent of the game or something maybe 30 percent of the game yeah. like, or at least the story you're playing as bayek and then you take oh, over I the can... kid and that's where got... everything really opens up would I, would you be mad now this is a question would you be mad if the pitch of the game like all the marketing is bayek mm-hmm. and then he dies four hours into the game oh god and you're just like, what the fuck? Like, you have no idea. Like, you were dead set. Everyone thinks you're playing as Bayek. This is a Bayek game. Yeah. And he does four hours in the game and you play as a kid. How Depends. fucking crazy with that? That's the biggest gamble yeah. ever. And of course, they would never do it because mm, the pussies and taking no risks. Yeah. But, th- like, what a gamble that would be because so many people would be mad because, like, oh, I wanted to play as Bayek. You promised fucking Bayek. But also, fucking, what a ballsy move. I wouldn't, mm. I'd have to respect it. Yeah, and you know they would only do that if they knew it was for a very good reason. Because they know how much everyone loves Bayek. Like, that would be a huge risk to do. So if they were to ever do that, you would assume it's because they've got a really good story in mind. And I wouldn't be mad at it, especially if this kid is someone that, you know, in the first, say, four hours, they've built this kid up and you're like, wow, I really, like, I'm into this relationship between them and I really like this kid and this is really fucking compelling. And then Bayek dies and you take control of the kid, you'd be like, oh, shit, this is, I'm really fucking into this now. 